So you can see I'm running the Kestrel. Distance is 1,015 meters. Um, wind speed is, is almost negligible. It is literally just blipping up to one meter per second. I've got a readout of 10.49 mils, so 10.5 mils. Um, I'm actually set up at 300, so I just need to compensate for that at the moment. Um, target uh, angle set up, wind angle set up. Um, I've got a nice long range mil scope on the uh, 338 instrument and bender, so uh, should be no problems there. And I've got precisely 11 rounds to hit it, so let's see how we do. Okay, I've um, reset the turret after zeroing, um, so now I need to wind on 10.5 mils, which is there. Nice MTC clicks, which you may have heard. Um, it's reckoning I need a little bit of windage on for the spin drift, so let's have a go. Yeah, I'm about a mil high. Uh, and a little bit left. Round two. That was a hit. When you reposition on the gun and uh, wait for the round to strike, it reminds you just how long it takes it to get there. I'm gonna take another shot. Just a book. Okay, I'm going on to the figure eleven target now. Turn the air defenders on, I can hear the round strike a lot better. Plonk. Uh, let's go on to the 50 centimeter disc.
plonk. I've got to admit, um, I do get the chance to shoot long range quite a lot, especially when I come here. Um, I always get onto the firing point here with a bit of a nervous sense of trepidation because even when you're spotting for clients, it, it can be really tricky. Um, this is very, very capable of the distance, the scope, the optics, the ammunition, the rifle, everything. Um, <laughs> the day couldn't be any better for it because it is literally at its very strongest just blipping one uh, meter per second of wind speed. To get a second round strike, I, I was quite pleased with, and, and now I'm on the little 50 centimeter disc at 1,015 meters. I'm more than happy, and um, I think I'll be finishing this box of ammunition. I'm not sure if the, the camera can hear the hits on the plate, but I certainly can through these ear defenders. Dunk. I'm not normally a mono pod fan, but um, it's fairly easy and it does allow the gun to stay a little bit better on target. The muzzle break on this rifle is uh, significant, so staying on target through the shots, you're probably not moving more than three mils off target maximum um, from the recoil, so you can see the splash fairly easily. Dink. Plank. Plank. Just had a couple where primary extraction has been a little bit tricky. Not a pressure issue. Uh, I think this is my last round now. Let's go for four in a row, five in a row on the 50 centimeter, 1,000 meters. I do believe that one just nicked the edge of it. Oh well, I can't complain at that. That's that. Steel Core 338, very, very dialed and easy to shoot, uh, stays on target well. And the Schmidt and Bender, it's um, not really a great amount of doubt to know that that's got no problem doing it. I've used Schmidt and Bender and Minox long range scopes for certainly hundreds, if not maybe a thousand shots. Um, never a problem with either. Hold well on. 